Here are all the apps I use in 2025 as a software engineer and why you should use them as well. And a massive shout out for UPF for sponsoring today's video. I have divided this into five sections. Productivity apps, coding apps, apps related to YouTube, business sales and customer apps, and then miscellaneous and like random apps that I sometimes use and sometimes don't use. Productivity apps. When it comes to me, I often don't want to overcomplicate my environment. I don't want to overuse tons of applications. So for productivity apps, I use Notion. Notion is not the best at anything, but really, really good at everything. I use it for taking notes, creating YouTube videos, creating tasks in my coding job, and then keeping up with everything. I think Notion is a very good application. Then there is ChatGPT or other LLMs like Claude, which I use to handle the more repetitive tasks so I can actually focus more on the harder task and the tasks that require more from me. Actually, for my focus I use, right now I'm using YouTube Music. I used to use Spotify for a while, but now I'm testing out YouTube Music. And in certain situations I listen to certain music like music with lyrics and maybe high, high beat, up tempo, and in certain situations I listen to classical music. And often I don't listen to anything if I really need to think. One more thing is blockers. I use some, of, some blockers that block different applications and how I can use them. For example, on my YouTube homepage, I, I use a blocker that doesn't actually allow me to see the homepage without searching for the videos. Coding applications. For my coding editor, I use Visual Studio Code. It's just something I've been using most of my life, most of my coding life. I did try out Cursor, but I ended up going back to VS Code. It works. The extension library is massive, so it's a very good code ed editor. People prefer other code editors, but that's for me. Inside VS Code, I have GitHub Copilot which is an integrated AI assistant that uh, has access to your files so it can, it can understand the context a bit better. One tip for you using Copilot is edit your GitHub Copilot instructions.md file in, in your GitHub folder and give very good instructions to the file so that actually improves your prompts a lot. I have different Copilot instructions files in different projects, so I can have certain type of projects. That is a very, very big improvement I suggest you doing instantly if you are using Copilot. Create a folder GitHub at the root of your project and create copilot underscore instructions.md and write your instructions there. Postman is a life server for APIs. I use, I use Postman in my everyday work with uh, working with integrations and backend. Quick break here to thank today's sponsor UPDF. It's easily the best PDF tool I've ever used. It's, it's not even that you can edit your PDFs, you can actually fully chat with your PDFs. You can upload a PDF and just ask, ask questions about it. Like imagine as a software engineer, you're going through do documentaries and going through documents just looking for something. Imagine you use UPDF, you upload the documentary there and then you just ask, ask questions related to a documentary. Very nice. This would, this would have been amazing when I was doing my master's thesis because I had to work a lot with PDFs. So I wish I had UPDF then. It also does the basics really well, like editing. It also does the basics really well, like editing, compressing, and even adding a password to a PDF. Nice. And the price is literally one sixth of Adobe Acrobat. You can, you can get it yourself with the first link in the description to get a discount or go to updf.com. Thanks, thank you so much UPDF for sponsoring the video and now let's get back to the applications. YouTube and creative tools. So besides coding, I spend a lot of time on this channel and creating this channel. I use DaVinci Resolve for editing, it's the best free editing tool for desktop. I use Cap for screen recording, it's actually a brand new tool I found out recently. So. I'm still working on it, I'm not sure if, if how long it will stay with me, but right now it's very good for screen recordings. I use of course TubeBuddy and VidIQ for SEO and optimization. And a secret weapon I recently discovered is speech 
notes.co. It's such a simple uh, speech-to-text application, but it helps me a lot with creating the scripts for my YouTube videos. I'm so much better at saying the words out loud, so I just use speech-to-text application, and then I use ChatGPT to refine it and like get rid of the repeti repetitive words, etc. So speech notes.co a big shout out, shout out to you then customers sales and business applications this also overlaps with freelancing and side projects so there's a bit of everything here uh, i use squarespace to make super quick uh, website design mockups we also use google calendar and google meet for just you know having a cal having using calendar and having uh, our dailies for my side projects i use reddit for idea validation this is also quite new but i found i have found good results like if i have a software engineering idea i write a, like a few questions about it and then i post it to reddit and then people people like start commenting commenting on it and then i get my idea basically validated but be sure to validate it on other places as well as Reddit and be sure to upload it to multiple subreddits. And then miscellaneous or tools that are always changing. I also use different notes app, I, like I use the uh, MacBook's own notes app. Then I use every now and then mirror.com if I need to like write something, make something. Then I also tend to use some other uh, analytical applications like analytics applications online. But this category is always changing, like new apps come and go, but this is my basically my test category or apps that I use very rarely. So these are the applications I'm using as a software engineer in 2025. Some stables, some new discoveries and some that I'll probably even drop next week. You never know. Big thanks to UPDF for sponsoring the video again. A massive shout out, go check them out. First link in the description. Now I want to hear from you. Uh, what is your app stack looking like right now? What applications are you using? And especially give me if you have some honorable mentions or some, some game changers. I want to know about those. And let me also know what you think of my applications I'm using. This has been Miro Trying and thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!